Hello friends, in this video we shall perform some basic operations on the list object. So basic list operations. List is also a sequence data type. So therefore, operations like concatenation, repetition, etc. can also be performed on a list object. List also can respond to the operators like membership operators in or not in and you can also iterate over the collection of elements inside the list with the help of a for statement. So here len of the square bracket contains 1, 2, 3, len function will give me the length of the, that particular list object which is equal to 3 in this case. If I have two lists and I put a plus inside this, then the two lists will be concatenated. So it will form a new list com cons consisting of both the elements from the both, both lists. So if I have a 1, 2, 3 as one list and 4, 5, 6 another list. If I put a plus, then the new list form will contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is a concatenation. Similarly, there is a repetition operation that can be performed on a list object. If I have a list with one element high and if I say high star 4, so what will happen? High will be repeated 4 times. So the list that will be subsequently formed will contain high 4 times. So it is a repetition operator. You can use a membership operator to test whether a particular element is present in the list or collection of objects in the list or not. In this case, I am saying 3 in 1 to 3. 1 to 3 is a list. I want to verify whether 3 is really present inside it or not. So the result will be true because 3 is indeed present. On the other hand, you can also test the use or the value of not in operation also. Lastly, in this section, for x in 1 to 3 print x, it will iterate over each every element inside the list and print the list. So for each value of x, for each value of the object in the list, it, it will execute a print statement. So what it, it will do is, it will print the contents of the list one by one, it is called as an iteration operation. So these are some of the basic operations that can be performed on a list object. I will show you now all these operations with a suitable example. Slice, repetition and concatenation operator also works upon a list object. So let us see how they can be used along with the list. So to begin with, I have defined two list objects, list and tiny list. And I am just printing them out. List 0 is going to result into the element from the list object which is at the 0th index. So expect A, B, C, D to be printed. If you want to separate a sub list from an original list object, mention the beginning component and the ending component from the list. So list 1 colon 3 should result into a sublist containing elements from second till the third position. List 2 colon will result into all the components starting from the third. The star operator is the repetition operator. So if I say tiny list into 2, I should get the elements of the tiny list object printed twice. And lastly, the plus operator is used here as a concatenation. So these two lists will be joined together to create a third list. So let us now see the result of this example. So these are the two lists defined. The 0th element or rather the element at the 0th index is A, B, C, D. A substring containing second and third component. 
the third line is showing the sub sub list from position number 3 onwards this is the repetition operator the result of the repetition and this is the result of the concatenation where a combined list is prepared by joining these two 